Ok, welcome to my tutorial to this artificial intelligence I created. First of all, I uh, need to say that you should buy the room for the editor and put in the object editor. Then have a nice background. You need it because then we create it into real time so here it is and we need it to build the walls the artificial intelligence will see so orthogonal walls remember to place the vertex on each intersection things like this are not to be done Vertices must be connected. See? If you want the walls to be connected, you need to connect it. To remove a link, just drop it over again. Okay. You can always move the walls. Move them. And uh, we built them up. Well, now it's okay. So, the most daunting task now is building paths. Paths are needed by the AI to reach their goals. And uh, to build a good path is one of the main tasks of the editor. It's up to you. What are the golden rules? Well, for this artificial intelligence, wherever the unit starts, it needs to see a node in order to find a path. And in order to find a path to a destination, that destination needs to be reachable from a node. So, let's say a unit that started here and wanted to go here would see a node to start from and would see a node to end to then it's okay but what about a unit that started here it wouldn't see any node to start with so no game then better yet let's do it like this move it try not to draw wall, the path too close to walls so the unit won't try to go near it in this artificial intelligence, it can avoid walls even if in a situation like this. But it's just forcing things while we need efficiency. So don't do it. Well, here is a good path. Simple. In most artificial intelligence, this graph gets automatically created and it has dozens or maybe hundreds of unnecessary nodes while we just needed well like 10 nodes in total to build a path now see can change the color this one is pretty blinding so it's good <laughs> then another critical thing is exporting well you can do that uh, it's not like saving a map you save a map with the S key see here for reference to edit it in this editor you export the map so that you can use it so now we both save the map 
and export the map to a different file. Now the map will be subdivided into cells. The cells should be bigger than the unit, not too big, and uh, should be closer to a square as possible. So 7, 10. The radius of your bigger units. So if there is a problem and the cells are too small, you will be notified by an error. Like, let's try 1000. Okay. You will see the void radius node. Well, the exporting worked. Let's do it again. Never know. Mm, yes. 7, 10, 12 is the real radius of my unit. And now it goes really OK. So now let's fire up the AE. Substitute the object creator with object controller. And now you can add some units too. You place the units inside the Game Maker Room Editor while the walls are placed in uh, the, the other editor. Files saved are like this one, are text files. You can edit them by hand if you know what you're doing. I'll... I see. Okay, start it. The map we want to load is the processed one, the exported one. Select the units, as many as you want. Now the units can see node from the start and the, the destination can see a node too. So it will work. You see different path for a different unit. Now it didn't find the right. If it's crowded they won't get over each other. They will just go back and avoid the walls. Even if the walls are close to them, they can deal with them. No problem. Most AEs will have problems if the units get outside this railroad. Let's call it like this. It's like a really a railroad. You can see the unit proceed into a straight line, while here it's not really a big deal. As long as it, as it does smash into a wall. So you can download it, it's uh, freeware, it's open source, you can use it. If you have uh, questions or suggestions, I'm open to it. Goodbye.